Hello, this is Jim with Absolute Control Irrigation Specialists. I want to welcome you to our channel, another episode of Tips from the Swamp. In this video, we're going to be looking at different elements of communication in the MIM between the computer and the satellite, things to look for to help troubleshoot them. For this video, I have a my laptop set up, the MIM, and a test bed that consists of a face plate, a power interconnect, an OSM, a two-wire communication module, and a little test unit that tells me by, if that I have outputs on the OSM. So let's start with the MIM. When you turn your MIM on, first thing you want to look at is the light that is, you can see flashing. It says status. That's an indication that the MIM is on and functional. The other thing that you want to do is have it set up for the group and channel that you want to be able to read on the surface of the MIM. And that is done with these video switches right here and they need to be set as these are to 101 because I'm looking at wire group 1 and satellite number 1. Next we want to make sure that our computer, in this case laptop, is turned on and comes up to its desktop. On the desktop we should find an icon for our Rainbird program, which in this case is Nimbus. We double click on that. And as that program comes up, we watch to make sure that it locks on. And we can tell that the red light is lo that's located next to the connector turns to red. The other thing to watch for and I'm going to exit and re-enter, is on the MIM. We exit here. When I now turn on, I also want to watch that status light area where there's an RD and SD light. So when I fire up this MIM and the computer comes on, you'll notice that the RD SD lights flash and eventually once everything is settled and locked together we know that the computer and the MIM are talking together. If I go back over to the computer you'll notice that we have a red solid light. Now if we go to initiate the program and you'll notice that the connection light flashes between blue and yellow. It says it's not picking up the MIM. The indicator on the MIM is the RDSD lights are not flashing. If that's the case, we want to make sure that it's plugged in where it's supposed to. And you'll notice a switch. That switch is used to switch between a polarized or a non-polarized phone cord. If you are working with the original phone cord that came from Rainbird, it is polarized. That switch needs to be in A. If that switch is in A and you're using a normal phone cord, it will not connect. So now we switch this over to B because you'll notice that I am using a regular phone cord. Now we'll go back, close the MIM, see the status lights, and now I will re-initiate the program from the laptop computer. Now you'll notice the RDSD lights are flashing back and forth. Once they stabilize, 
if we go back to the computer, you will notice that at the top you have a connection light that is now solid red. That is how the MIM and the, and the computer communicate with each other and different things to look for. Remember if the phone cord is bad, you need to try a different phone cord. That is MIM to computer and how they talk together. If there is a problem with that not happening, there's a very good chance that there is a failure on the CPU board in the MIM, which is a small board, which has the AV switch on it. That's this board over here. And if it has a problem and it won't connect in any position, then it needs to be sent in for repair. I hope you have enjoyed this video and that it has been helpful. If it is, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new videos. We also appreciate your comments and suggestions. This is one of two videos we're doing off of suggestions concerning communication and the MIM. Remember, if you send your repairs to us, we will provide you with a FedEx shipping label by email, and we promise you as quick a turnaround as possible. If you are interested in us doing that and you want to contact us, visit our website at www.absolute-control.com. Look forward to helping you. Thank you from Gator with Tips from the Swamp.